now the objectives for this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe briefly adulthood, old age, and menopause. Let's start off with adulthood. And we're looking at over 20 years. The stage of adulthood is also marked by significant physical and social changes. The adult chooses a career, gets a job, finds a mate or a partner, and produces children. Now let's look at old age. As we grow older, certain physical and physiological changes begin to occur as a result of decreasing production of sex hormones. Some people go through decline. That is, they may decline in their health, but others remain active and capable of their daily activities until the end of their lives. Most of the physical changes associated with aging begins to show between the ages of 30 and 40. They include the appearance of gray hair, impaired vision due to a reduction in the elasticity of the islands, a gradual loss of hearing. We even have loss of teeth in some people. Most women experience what we call menopause between the ages of 45 and 54. Menopause is a natural event that occurs when a woman loses the ability to reproduce. This period is often difficult and traumatic. The lowered levels of estrogen and progesterone are directly responsible for the unpleasant symptom of menopause. The woman might experience circulatory problems such as hot flashes and night sweating. Physiological problems such as depression, anxiety, and insomnia can occur. Skeletal problems such as bone loss as high as 7% per year can also occur. This situation can lead to osteoporosis. Osteoporosis affects the spongy bone and the sufferer or the person is more likely to break a bone. Estrogen is also thought to give women some protection against some type of heart diseases. Women below menopausal age are less likely than men to have heart disease. However, at menopause, they catch up. Hormone replacement therapy, that is HRT, can help to reverse many of these symptoms and effects. Now let's look at some characteristics of menopause as a stage. Ovulation and menstruation ceases at the stage. The breast, vagina and uterus decrease in size. Sexual desire declines. The birth canal becomes dry. That is what we call vaginal dryness. These changes occur as a result of a decline in the production of sex hormones in the woman. It is advisable, therefore, for women not to start having children towards menopause. In fact, it can be risky and dangerous for a woman to have her first child after the age of 35 years for the following reasons. A woman could lose her life. There is a risk of the child being mentally retarded or suffer from some other genetic defects. Couples having children after 35 years may find it difficult to look after the children when they retire from work. If you think about this situation very closely, you realize that if the child to a couple is born after the age 35, all they have is 25 years for them to get to retirement. And that child will roughly be 25 years by then, probably just at the tertiary level. 
So my advice to my dear female students is focus on your education quickly, be done and over with your education, get a job, marry, and quickly go through your reproductive duties before your age goes anywhere near 35. The aging person usually experiences a gradual decrease in senses. That is his or her ability to taste and detect odor is reduced with age. Old people become arthritic and find it difficult engaging in vigorous activities. Others show some level of mental deterioration, that is senility, between the ages of 65 and 75 years. The body's ability to combat infections decline because the immune system becomes less effective. Women experience psychological changes like depression and moodiness. The men may experience nervousness, irritability, depression, and indecision. Now at this point, let's do a quick summary. We've talked about adulthood. We also mentioned old age, and we talked about menopause. And we saw that at each of these stages, the individual goes through some physical and psychological changes as you go along. As a person ages, some of their features begin to fail and their strength generally reduces. Whilst the females or the women undergo menopause, which comes with all kinds of symptoms, the men also go through their form of changes referred to as andropos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating insights into the natural world. Until next time, keep exploring and appreciating the wonders of our planet. Thanks for watching.